In this brief tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export Audacity files in an MP3 format. MP3 is probably the most common and most popular audio file extension for podcasters, followed closely by the WAV file. And it's been an industry standard for quite some time, offering a good balance of audio quality with a smaller file size. And so it's a safe bet to export your podcast episodes as an MP3 format. Now, it used to be that in order to export your files from Audacity as an MP3, you had to download a separate software called Lame File Encoder. It's not lame because it's dumb. It's just an acronym for the encoder. I didn't name it, but you used to have to download the second piece of software. Now Audacity has brought it in to their software. So if you have an up-to-date version of Audacity, whether you're on a Mac or a Windows machine, you should be able to export directly from Audacity as an MP3 file. So here on my screen, I have an Audacity project opened up with an audio file in it. And let's say that I want to export this as an MP3. So once you're ready to go, you would just go up to File, Export, Export as MP3. And from here, you're going to see this pop up. And these are a bunch of fields that you can fill out to really make sure that you save it exactly how you want. The first field allows you to choose your file name. And so it will bring in your project file name as the default, but you can name this whatever you want. You can choose where you want it to save. And then here, it should have MP3 files pre-selected uh, from the dropdown. But if it doesn't, you can just click on that and you can see all the options that you have from Audacity. We're gonna keep it at MP3. Now let's dive into all these different format options and I'll explain which ones are best for podcast episodes. For the bitrate mode, I would leave it as preset. The other options get more into the weeds if you're very particular about the kind of bitrate that you have. But for most audio files, for most podcast episodes, you just wanna leave it at the preset. Now, a question that I get often about exporting MP3 files is how high of a quality do I need? Because if you click on this drop-down menu, you have four different options. You have in insane, extreme, standard, and medium. So all that these do is they increase the amount of bits per second. And so an insane amount, 320 kilobits per second, means you're going to have a larger audio file. Will it be a better quality than the standard audio file? Yes, technically, but not a discernible amount. Unless you've really dialed it in and know exactly what you're listening for, you're not going to notice a difference between insane and standard. And so if you use a podcast host where you're paying by the megabit to upload your audio files, then you definitely want to leave it as standard. But if you use a podcast host like Buzzsprout, where you're paying for the amount of hours that you upload every month instead of the file size, you can use whatever options here that you want to. In fact, if you use Buzzsprout, I would encourage you to export as a wave, but that's a totally separate video. So we'll stick to MP3. Uh, so you can just leave this as standard. It's going to be perfectly fine and it'll sound great for your podcast. Now, the next drop down menu is your variable speed. Now, this only matters if you choose the variable bitrate format option. If you use preset, like I'm encouraging you to do, then it doesn't matter what's in this drop down box. Then the final thing that you can do is adjust the channel mode. And there's three options, joint stereo, stereo, and mono. Joint stereo is the default. That is the most efficient way for Audacity to export your files. Um, and then stereo would be if you have a true stereo where the left and the right are different and you want them to stay different and you really do care that Audacity exports your podcast episode as a stereo file, click stereo, all right? Don't go joint stereo, click stereo. Your file size is gonna be a little bit bigger, but it'll give you actually what you want. But if you're like most podcasters and you don't have a lot of music in your podcast and your microphones are recording in mono anyway, I recommend actually just exporting as a mono file. Your listeners aren't really gonna know a difference it's going to save you space on your computer and you eliminate all the issues that you get with a dual mono file where the left and the right side are the same and they actually counteract each other to make your audio file softer, which is not what you want. So when in doubt, go ahead and choose mono. But if you really do care, you can export as a stereo file. And when you've chosen everything that you want to select, click save. Now, the next thing Audacity is going to prompt you with is some metadata. So 
this isn't super important. You don't actually have to fill any of this out because when you upload your podcast episode to your podcast host, you'll fill out the title, the show notes, any artists, anything like that in your host. And then your host will make that information available to all the podcast directories. So I wouldn't even worry about filling any of these ID3 tags or any of these metadata tags out. Just click OK. And then once you do, Audacity will export your final project as an MP3 file. And that's it. That is all you have to do to export your Audacity files as an MP3. Now, if you want to learn everything that you need to know to edit podcast episodes in Audacity from cutting and moving audio files to applying compression, removing background noise, then I would encourage you to go and check out our Audacity tutorial video playlist here on our YouTube channel. And I'll leave a link in the description so you can click and check that out. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the Buzzsprout YouTube channel. Every single week, we're putting out new gear review videos, podcast strategy videos, and software tutorials like the one you just watched. Well, thanks for watching. And until next time, keep podcasting.